Hi, I'm Linda Lorm, PSTL Instructional Designer. In this video postcard, we'll look at WebEx, the newest tool for web video conferencing at the U of M. WebEx is available to all faculty, staff, and students. Use WebEx to host online classes and webinars, hold virtual office hours, or even consult with colleagues or technical staff away from the office. WebEx is compatible with both Windows and Apple computer systems and even works on Apple or Android mobile devices. In addition to high quality video calling, WebEx meetings can include screen and application sharing and text chat. You can also record a meeting for later review or to share with those who could not attend. WebEx is also FERPA and HIPAA certified for use in situations where privacy and security are a concern. Hosting a WebEx meeting is easy. With your web browser, access the U of M WebEx portal. Log in with your internet ID and password. Before you host a meeting, you will need to configure the meeting room settings. Select Meeting Center. Select the Setup menu option and select Preferences. Under the Meet Now Settings option, make the following selections. Disable the Personal Room option. This feature is not currently available. Give your meeting room a title. For example, if you plan to use it regularly with an academic course, enter the course name. Return to this screen again at any time if you ever need to change your meeting room title. Choose the Use VoIP Only Audio Connection option. Please note that phone conferencing is not currently available. Save your changes and you are ready. To schedule a meeting in advance, select Host a Meeting and then Schedule a Meeting to choose a date and time and send invitations. To start a meeting immediately, select Meet Now. The first time you use it, WebEx will guide you through the brief process of installing the WebEx Meeting Room software. Once inside the room, configure your microphone by selecting the Audio Menu option. Then select Test Computer Audio. Check that the speaker and microphone options are correctly selected from the drop-down menus and adjust the volume levels as needed. As the meeting host, you will also need to select the Connect to Audio icon to allow audio communication for participants in the meeting. In the pop-up window, check that your microphone is active and then you may close the window. The Connect to Audio icon will be highlighted green, indicating that audio is now available. Activate your video camera to be visible to other participants. To invite other participants, select the participants icon and enter their email addresses. A WebEx meeting supports up to 1,000 participants at a time, and you can send an invitation to any email address, even to participants outside of the U of M community. U of M students may host meetings for up to 9 participants. As soon as the meeting is launched, you will also receive an email with a link to your meeting room that you can forward to others. When other participants arrive in the meeting room and activate their cameras, you will be able to see them in the participants area. Select the icon in the video window to access the alternate display option, a user-friendly interface similar to other popular web conferencing systems. A full menu of features is also available along the top of the screen. To record a meeting, select the recording option. In the pop-up window, select the Do Not Record a Teleconference option and then the Start Recording button. When recording is active, indicators will be visible on screen. After you stop the recording, WebEx will send you an email with a link to view it. Please be aware that the email may be delayed until the recording is finished processing. When the meeting is concluded, you can close the room by selecting the Exit option. For more information about all the features of WebEx or to use it on a mobile device, contact your instructional designer or IT fellow for additional support. Until next time, happy conferencing!